in this video, I'm going to be talking about one of the most excruciating, painful things that every creative entrepreneur feels, and that's the judgment of others. For me, judgment of others has held me back many a times. In starting this channel alone, I waited almost eight years. I've done the footage, I've done the speaking, I've done so many different things, but putting myself on YouTube was something I've always wanted to do, but held myself back. I held myself back because I honestly, I thought some of my friends would make fun of me. I thought my family would not be interested in what I'm doing. Um, and I definitely thought that my level of expertise wasn't quite there um, to share my knowledge and wisdom with others. And all of those things have been displaced by the amount of love, support, um, and, and people who found value and what I'm trying to do. So honestly, I've switched careers over three times. I went from studying architecture to becoming graphic designer, print shop owner, entrepreneur, to now getting into the world of publishing. And I've recently taken on a job at Scribe Media. And you know, in the last two weeks, I got the opportunity to travel down to Austin and do this workshop, a workshop I attended to start uh, my writing journey, uh, writing my book. And so now I get to help other people do the same thing and write their books and get their experience out in the world. And some of the most valuable lessons I heard were in books I read. So I wanted to write a book and when that time came, I joined Scribe Media and eventually I actually joined the company. And the reason I say that is because though I'm a creative entrepreneur and what I like to call myself, um, I do have a sort of day-to-day -day job that I actually love, and I don't really look at it as a job. I look at it as an opportunity. This opportunity to not only learn about the publishing industry, but to offer my value to that world. So for example, I love getting on the mic. I love getting on camera now, and so we are adding a huge podcast component to the company where I get to be involved and be creative and be innovative. And I'm beyond grateful for Scribe for not only welcoming me, um, but to also champion my creativity and help me um, align those visions with what I want to create. My judgment came from, because I was an entrepreneur, now going back into shifting into this um, world of working for someone else, um, I had a hard time with that. I really struggled. So this video is sponsored by absolutely nobody. If you could do me a huge favor by liking and subscribing, I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to grow the channel so that I can share more of my wisdom around creative fears and how we can all learn to reframe them. Let's get back in the video. The judgment of others was always afraid of, what will other people think of me now? That I'm hopping from one career to the next, that I may not know where I'm going. The reality is, most people out there don't give a damn about me or my work or what I'm doing. I needed to look into the future to see who I wanted to become. And if I was gonna allow those stories to hold me back from becoming that person, but I merely wanted to be a creative a coach, you know, a speaker, someone people look to for accountability, for inspiration. I love to look at people like that for my motivation, and I thought it would be cool to be that person for other people. And at first, I was in my head about that and felt a little cocky or too confident. But the reality is, that's what I want. And it's not being cocky or confident. It's being a resource, being a value. And that's ultimately what people want from one another. This is where the story shifts from being negative and thinking that these people or this person is not paying attention, they're gonna make fun of me, they're um, not interested in what I'm saying, and it's shifting it to those who do care about what I'm saying, those who can't wait for the next video, those who can't wait for the next painting that I create, or the next book that I create, or the next post that will motivate them to do X, Y, or Z, and focusing on those people has helped me dramatically change and reframe that how will other people see me? How will other people judge me? It's not about how they'll judge you. It's about how you judge yourself. And for me, the thing that changed the most was 
I sort of accepted that who I wanted to become, um, I needed to sacrifice the stories that no longer served. And so who cares what they think? Because reality is they're gonna say something, they're gonna comment, they're gonna give you that one star, but you're not just there for them. Over time, you gotta focus on what you can control, and that is to change, grow, and adapt. And as I do that on my own journey, I've learned that it's not just the stories of other people. It's the stories I have in my head about those people. And so in a lot of ways, I'm judging myself and judging others and thinking that they are judging me in a specific way. That's not very healthy. We gotta get out of that mindset and really thinking about how you feel about your work, how you validate yourself, right? Your experience and your wisdom. And I think for me, once I leaned into that, I realized that these are all just stories. And by reframing them and restructuring them, they now serve me as opposed to stand in my way.